Hi guys, this is Andrew Burgess for NetTuts, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you the five best new features of Panix Transmit 4. Panix released the fourth version of their FTP client last week, and if you haven't seen it yet, I'll give you a quick tour of a couple of the new features. Uh, this is Transmit 3 I've got there, and this is Transmit 4, and you can see the first big, big, big feature is a brand new interface. It's much shinier, much more Mac-like, and they just packed a whole lot of awesome into the new interface. Um, number four, along with this interface, is the is a lot of great new um, usability. You can see here um, for going between folders on your local hard drive, you've got this uh, uh, kind of like a breadcrumb trail up at the top here. And as I go through different folders, you can see it keeps those there, and then I can quickly go back um, by clicking that little arrow there. Um, it, they've made it much easier to add a new FTP client or just much more um, it's just a more polished interface more fun to use if I um, connect to a client here I can show you um, another one of the excellently um, improved areas is sync you can see here that um, panic 3 had sync here too but it wasn't as nice, and this one's just a lot more user-friendly, specifically because of this little blue bubble you're seeing down here. As I check different options, it will um, update this little blue bubble to give me, in kind of plain English, exactly what's going to happen when I hit this green Synchronize button. And I can synchronize either by uploading or downloading, whichever one gets precedence there. So that's really nice. Um, counting down the third new feature that I really like is in the preferences here is the rules panel um, this is really neat because what it allows you to do is choose certain files to be skipped so you can see here they come with this sample uh, rule for source control files and any file that has a name of .svn or .git it's gonna skip that um, I've just made an example one here don't upload old and bloated files so if it hasn't been modified in the last two weeks or if it's greater than seven megabytes don't upload it that kind of thing and you can just check or uncheck these to enable or disable them. Another really neat feature is the ability to do um, server to server or just local to local in these two folders here. You can see right now I've got a local folder here and a server on this side, but I can connect to another server and then very easily go between the two. So there you see I'm going from server to server and while I'm uploading it, you can see I've got this um, neat little panel here to um, kind of give me the status of all those, all my uploads. If I'm uploading a whole lot at once, that's extra useful. Um, and then, well, that's server to server, and then of course, it's easy to see local to local. And there you go. I've got two local files here, and I can go back and forth between them like that. Um, another neat part of the um, interface is the ability to have favorites here and this would kinda go with our super new friendly user I can uh, new friendly user interface excuse me I can choose to add a place and it'll tell me to drop folders here anytime to add them to your places okay so I've got this folder here that I want to access often I just drop it on there and whoops I let go drop it on there and now the great stuff folder is easy to access and the final feature I want to show you, number one, is probably um, my most favorite feature of Panic 4 and the one that they're um, talking about the most on the site. And that's the ability to mount a drive. So I can right click on a drive here and choose to mount it as a disk. And right away you can see that that's been mounted as a disk on my desktop here, right here. And I've actually also got another one here mounted. And then I can just open these up and I can browse through these files just like it was a folder on my desktop and I can bring stuff in just like that so that is Transmit 4 check it out on their website you can read about all the other features they've got this really neat little uh, interface here to show you all the cool new things that you can do with Transmit 4 so um, check it out and let me know what you think thanks